Hey YouTube, it's me, Veronica. I am back, finally. <laughs> it's been a long time. I haven't um been vlogging much lately because I've been in school and you know how the last couple of weeks are school finals and exams and assign assignments and the list goes on so I've been like extremely busy and on top of that coming home mommy life as you know it can be kind of hectic so I haven't really had time to vlog or anything like that and also just been preparing for the baby um I only have eight more weeks left um would have been nine but it's only eight for me because I'm going in for a scheduled c-section so eight more weeks and we'll finally meet my baby boy I am officially 31 weeks. I turned 31 weeks on um, this Tuesday, actually. And today, what is today? Thursday? So, yeah, 31 weeks, two days. Everything's going pretty good. Um, this is this video is just going to be pretty much like a um, pregnancy update. What I've been doing. What's been going on with baby. All that stuff. So, um, actually today I just came back from an appointment um, this morning I had an ultrasound because they said my belly was measuring small at my last prenatal visit so when they went in they checked everything was fine he, she was just like the reason why your belly is measuring small is because the baby's all bent up and I mean he's just all kinds of twisted up in there so that's why he's measuring well my it's making making it seem like my stomach's measuring small but the baby's actually measuring right where he needs to be he's four pounds exactly four pounds um there's enough amniotic fluid everything so that's one thing that i was worried about because i know that sometimes they get a little worried like if you're measuring small that means your amniotic fluid as well but they checked that out everything was fine and you know, got a chance to see my baby boy. <laughs> I haven't seen him in a while. Like the last ultrasound I had probably was like two months ago. So um, that was exciting just to be able to see him moving around in there. And, and now I see what they mean. Like he's just, he's head down, but the way he's curled up in there, some weird curl, like, but he's comfortable. So <laughs> everything's good. Um, so according to, um, babycenter.com the baby is about the size of a coconut mine might be a little bit bigger because he's exactly four pounds now so um he's about 16 maybe 16 and a half inches um and able to move their head back and forth and obviously wiggle around um so it's not too too much going on just pretty much coasting and you know just taking it one day at a time um, one thing I have been doing to try to keep myself busy um, other than the other stuff that's going on in my life um, to prepare for baby is you know I've washed all his clothes that I had purchased um, he um, yeah he doesn't need anything <laughs> like he's all set I finally got him a bassinet I know I said that in my um, blog a bunch of times and I said that in my last video that that was probably one of the last things I needed to get was a bassinet and um, yeah I finally got one I found um, the cutest bassinet I did want to get a bassinet first and then purchase a crib later on because we're kind of like in tight quarters right now you know he's sharing a room with me until he's old enough to you know go in his own room with his brother so um, as you can see behind me, I don't know if you can see back there. Don't mind the junk on my dresser. <laughs> but there's his bassinet. It's um, it's like a safari. Is it safari? Uh, once I find out, I'll put the name of the bassinet and everything that I had purchased, and maybe like upload a picture of the one that I got um, in the video. But I'll put everything, the name and everything, how much it costs, where I purchased it, all the information in the description box below. So that's his little corner, his little nook, and then I have my little like chair. You can't even see my chair. My chair is actually in the corner right here too. Um, the one I'll be using when I nurse him or rock him to sleep or whatever. Um, I also have his stroller behind me. Um, that's also in my room, taking up space. So his stroller's right here. His bassinet. So that's what I mean. Like we're kind of tight on space. So I'm not gonna rush out and grab a crib right away. Get that 
you know, once he's big enough to get in there. Um, I even packed his baby bag <laughs> already. I'm only 31 weeks and his baby bag is packed. Like, I, mine's is still a work in progress. Yeah, I have his baby bag packed. So probably like the next video I do is um, a what's in my baby bag video. Um, I had a, uploaded a video not too long ago, but I like deleted it because it was just me rambling on about this baby bag that I thought was so great at the time and come to find out I didn't even like it after <laughs> so I gave it away to somebody who's actually expecting and didn't have a baby bag so um it was the Fisher Price Fast Finder so I ended up getting another baby bag and I'll be talking and probably do a video on that baby bag because I love this baby bag it's a skip hop um duo signature bag and I love the print. I just love this baby bag. So I'll probably do a video on that. Who knows? Um, now that finals are coming closed and everything's coming to an end of school and I have the summer free, I'll have more time to do some vlogging. I'm starting to run out of breath now. I know what mom's. You know, I feel your pain when you're in these videos and I'm only what, like not even seven minutes in and I'm already losing my breath. But oh, do a little belly shot if you guys can see me I'm kind of close so just around little belly like a um what like a watermelon that's what it looks like right now but yeah my feet are starting to get a little swollen so I gotta remind myself to sit my butt down and put my feet up every now and then but other than that everything going good thank you guys for watching i will hit you back up with another video and i will see you guys next time bye and enjoy this beautiful weather